Hi, I'm horticulturist Jessica Walliser for Savvy Gardening, and I'm hanging out in my garden on a beautiful spring day. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and well, my boxwoods are talking to me. If you have boxwoods growing in your landscape, head outside in mid to late spring and put your ear up real close to the shrub, and you might hear what sounds like a bowl of Rice Krispies. I'm going to take my mic off and hold it up to the shrub so you can actually hear what this sounds like. Are you ready? So that, that sound that you're actually hearing is an insect living inside the tissue of that plant. It's called the boxwood leaf miner, and it is an imported pest from Europe. It's been here for a very long time, but it's fast spreading now across much of the United States. There's very few resistant boxwood cultivars for it, but it's a really fascinating insect because the females are little tiny orange flies and they look a little bit like a mosquito and they lay eggs in the plants in uh, late spring or early summer and they lay them just under the tissue of the back of the leaves and the larval fly spends its entire larval life stage inside and in between the tissues of those leaves and what you're hearing when I held the microphone up is actually the chewing sound of the larva inside of the tissue of the leaves. So in about a week or two here, um, what's gonna happen is those larvae are gonna pupate and they're gonna pupate into an adult flies. And we're gonna see just a cloud of little tiny orange flies all around the boxwoods. And usually what I do to control them is I put some yellow sticky cards up over these plants, maybe about six inches above the tops of my boxwoods, and those flies are attracted to that color yellow, and they get stuck on it and trapped, and then obviously they die. The other thing I do is, before they emerge, so here within the next couple of days, I'm actually gonna prune these boxwoods, and I'm gonna prune off all of this new growth. And you can see if you look really close on here, you'll see the leaves that have been excavated and tunneled out. If you turn them over, you'll be able to see holes on the back of the leaves, and each one of those holes contains a larva. And if I crack it open here, I'll show you what these orange wriggly larva look like inside. You see that? That's the larva. And some leaves actually have four, five, or six larva inside of it excavating and eating that tissue away. So it's a really cool um, thing to be on the lookout for, but I wanna make sure that I prune these before those larvae pupate into adults so I can really make sure that I keep their population in, in check. And that combined with the yellow sticky cards is often enough to keep their populations down and keep them from causing significant damage to your boxwoods. So if you have boxwoods, come on out and have a listen and hopefully you won't hear a Rice crispy sound, but if you do, it's still something pretty cool to be on the lookout for. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Savvy Gardening channel for more great garden information.